Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x minus f of y equals 4x minus 16y. And we're going to be solving for f of x. In other words, we're going to try to find an expression for f of x in terms of x. I'll be presenting two methods. And if you know of a third method, please let me know. Let's get started. So for my first method, I'm going to do the following. In this expression, I will replace x with y plus f of y. And you might be asking, why are you doing that? There's a good reason. If you replace x with y plus f of y, that's going to give you f of y. Let's go ahead and do it. Replace x with y plus f of y, and then subtract f of y. Set it equal to now 4. We also need to replace this x with y plus f of y and then minus 16y. Now notice that by doing this, we turn everything into y's. So everything is in terms of y, which is good. And now we're going to simplify this. f of y cancels out and we get f of y equals 4 times y plus 4 times f of y minus 16y. Awesome. We can simplify this. First of all, we can go ahead and subtract f of y. That's going to give us 3f of y. Let's do it on the right-hand side and then bring it to the left-hand side. And then let's bring this to the left-hand side and subtract the 4y, and that's going to give us 12y. So I kind of switched uh, sides, so hopefully that makes sense. And then after this, we can go ahead and divide both sides by 3, and we'll get f of y equals 4y. Okay, great. So that gives us the value of f of y, but we do want that to be in terms of x. What can I do? Easy. You can replace y with x. Now, a lot of people are going to question this, like how are you able to replace y with x when you said x is equal to y plus f of y? Well, it that was then. Now we have a different situation. So these are actually the kind of disposable so dummy variables. You can replace y with x and then x with negative y, so on and so forth. Uh, that just kind of changes the domain, but of course, um, oops, I just wrote y again. And this is going to give us basically f of x equals 4x. But yes, you can do it. You can replace a variable with another one as long as you do it on both sides. Make sense? So the answer is 4x. And you probably, maybe some of you noticed it when you saw this equation. Hey, this is something that's going on uh, on the right hand side. Because 4, you can factor the 4 out. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the second method. For my second method, and let me rewrite the original problem, f of x minus f of y equals 4x minus 16y. Great. We're going to use a different approach. So first, for the first method, we replace x with y plus f of y. This time, we're going to do something even simpler. We're going to replace x with f of y. And there's a very good reason behind it, because that's going to give us f of 0, which is a constant. A lot of times, getting f of 0 is a good thing. Okay, so replace x with f of y. That's going to give you f of 0 on the left. As you can see, f of y minus f of y is equal to 0. And on the right-hand side, you're replacing x with f of y. So that's going to be 4 f of y minus 16 y. Y is going to stay the same because we're not replacing Y with anything. We're replacing X with something. And can we do this? Yes. You can replace X with something in terms of Y, including Y or F of Y or any other function of Y. Okay? So what do you make of this? F of 0 is a constant, you said. So let's go ahead and call it C. C, senor. And then we're going to get the following. For F of Y minus 16y is equal to c. Great, but not so great because I want to get f of y from here. Let's go ahead and add 16y to both sides. Then we get this. And of course, since we want to get f of y by itself, let's divide both sides by 4. And of course, this is going to be c divided by 4, which is another constant. You can call it k if you want, but that's no big deal. Now, what am I going to do with this? Did I get f of y? Well, sort of, but there's an unknown constant. I need to determine the value of c. So, let's see what we're going to do. 
we do need to plug this in. That's one way to do it. There's another way to do it, but let's go ahead and do the first one first. So let's go back to our original problem and then plug this in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in f of y everywhere I see it. And obviously this implies that f of x is 4x plus c over 4, right? Needless to say. And now if you replace, so here's the thing. What does f do? f takes the input, multiplies by 4, and adds c over 4. Does that make sense? So it's going to take this input. That's the input. It's, it's going to multiply by 4 and add c over 4. And that should equal 4x minus 16y. From here, we can find c, hopefully. But we have to replace f of y with something. Let's go ahead and distribute first. 4x minus 4 f of y plus c over 4 equals 4x minus 16y. But how? what am I going to replace f of y with, right? Well, you could also do this directly, plug it in, but anyways. Now, let's go ahead and replace f of y with 4y plus c over 4, and then plus another c over 4 equals 4x minus 16y. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. 4x minus 16y minus c plus c over 4 equals 4x minus 16y. Now, it's good that 4x minus 16y cancels out, and we end up with negative c over 4 equals 0, which implies c equals 0. Great. So that means f of 0 is 0. And now I can go back and replace c with 0. And that's going to give me f of y equals 4y. And of course, just like before, this implies that f of x equals 4x. So that's our function in terms of x. Make sense? Good, good. What's the 2b approach? It's like 2b or not 2b. Okay. Well, for our 2a, we basically did the following. We just, you know, plugged it in, right? So let's go back here and see what we can do. So we got f of y equals, I'm going to pick it up from here, 4y plus c over 4, right? That's what we got here at this point. And then I can do something about it, right? I mean, we know that f of 0 is c. c is f of 0. So... You can replace y with 0 on both sides here, right? y with 0, and that's going to give you f of 0. Let's do it. y equals 0 is what we're going to do. f of 0 equals 4 times 0 plus c over 4. But f of 0 is c at the same time, so this means c over 4 equals c, which means c equals 0. Can a number equal its fourth? Yes, only if it's 0, which means we can go back here. And that's going to give us f of y equals 4y because c is 0. And this definitely implies that f of x equals 4x as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.